Welcome once again to this installment of Oscar City Football where we discuss anything to do with soccer from Africa to the world and from the world to Africa. Yes, news coming from Mamelodi Sundowns is that they've signed um, a young quality midfielder, signing him from Portugal. And that is the main topic of this episode. But before we even discuss this uh, new signing at Mamelodi Sundowns. I guess uh, we also have to just uh, give some developments as what's happening with other things uh, at uh, at Clock Up. Well, uh, Mike Macab, who is the agent of uh, Mango Bamnit, he has uh, actually given it out that uh, they are discussing with Mamelodi Sundowns a head coach role for Emmanuel Muniti. I think that is the only appointment that would make sense to majority of Mamelodi Sundowns fans. Uh, that you know what uh, to avoid disruptions, to avoid uh, um, you know uh, building from scratch. The better appointment would be Emanoba Muniti. They've brought back Steve Compella to assist him. I guess he's the one who suggested uh, to the club that they can bring Steve Compella. And I think this is uh, a positive uh, uh, progress uh, for all, all involved, especially us, the, the supporters of this beloved football club. And um, and I guess uh, before they even go to Austria, they probably want to get all their um, their new signings in. Now, remember that my lady Sundowns have already announced uh, the, the the of the, the players who've who've left the club, uh, either by uh, mutual uh, termination of their contracts or uh, their contracts were not uh, renewed. And others whose contract actually ran out. Um, Tabiso Kutumela, whose contract ran out as he came back from Ketan City uh, when he was on loan the past season. Um, and then you have got um, a Uruguayan who's been at the club for, I think, more than seven years, uh, seven years, if not seven years. I'm talking about the Uruguayan, uh, Katsin Sirino, who served the club with flying colors. Uh, he became also a fan favorite. And then you have um, a junior Mandiet who only spent a season at Mamelodi Sundowns, but then he's been signed by a uh, Greece Super League team. And after just one season, we don't know the details uh, of what happened between him and the club, whether it was bought up right or the contract was terminated. Uh, we, we don't know. But I know this, that Mamelodi Sundowns bought him outright from Stelis last season. So so you've got um, a striker in Kutumela, you've got um, a creative midfielder in Katsit Sirin on Junior Mandieta, and then you have um, a defender in Brian Mandela on Nyango, and then you've got um, a, a CDM, a, C, uh, a CM central midfielder in Bongani Zungu. Uh, if I, I remember others, but for now, these are the five I remember. So be rest assured then that Mamelodi Sundowns will be replacing those players. Also, uh, with the departure of Rulani Mukwena, there are some technical um, uh, team members who have also either their contracts ran out or they've resigned. Uh, uh, probably also to join Erlani uh, Mukwena, but uh, we'll only know that as to uh, when Mukwena signs for his new club. So you've got a loft man who's vacated his um, assistant uh, coaching role or one who specialized in, in set pieces. He's left. You've got a, a physical trainer. You've got a guy who was... Uh, I don't know what they call the people who, who massage players. You've got um, a goalkeeper, some assistant goalkeeper uh, who also also left. And the Golden Arrows have recently also announced him as their uh, main goalkeeper, goalkeeper coach. So all of those uh, positions that have been vacated, they there will be replacement for them. I mean, Benny McCarthy left 
Manchester United as the striker coach. Uh, after majority of the attacking players or strikers were singing praises of uh, of the former Bafana Bafana uh, hitman, and uh, Manchester United have replaced him with uh, Rude van Nostroy. So there's always there's always um, people out there. Uh, quality uh, people who can actually fill in those roles. So, Mamelodi Sundowns will probably fill in all of, the, all of those roles and they'll probably be announced either before the Austria preseason tour trip or, or during uh, their time in, in, in Austria. We now know of uh, Steve Compeller that has joined Mangoba Mnuti in their technical team and uh, we will then see. So, who is the new signing? What will he be adding at Mamelodi Sundowns? Um, is he coming to to be a starter, or he has to, you know, be given patience to, you know, to eventually fit in into the system of uh, Mamelodi Sundowns? Now, one thing I need to mention is that he is a South African, and he is. Um, Actually, the second South African joining Mamelodi Sundowns in seven months, who also was playing his trade in uh, in Europe, Tashrik Matthews, exciting at taking forward. He was also signed from Europe by Mamelodi Sundowns. Now the new signing, uh, I can't pronounce his name, but I'll just say KB KB Kodi Sang has also joined Mamelodi Sundowns from Portugal. Why are these players actually? South Africans in particular leaving Europe to come and join uh, South African teams. Well, well obviously the one reason, uh, especially, I mean, majority of these guys, they are, are given a side eye by the national team coach, uh, Hugo Bruce. Uh, I know Kodi Sang during the, is it the 2020 uh, Olympics? Uh, is it the Olympics? But something in 2020 when i saw him playing against the likes of uh, the likes of uh france uh, i think it was in tokyo the, the the boy is good the boy is good he can play on the wings he can come centrally as a, as a number 10 he can play behind the strikers he's extremely um skillful skillful i mean he's got a big heart he can take he can take players on he can take players on if you watch his matches you you will see a lot of uh box entries because he's not scared to take uh, players on we do have someone like that in the club like a tapelo masego although he has to grow with a uh, Sang, you already got experience uh with him of playing in in a bigger league in in, in um in uh, in Europe, but why are these players coming back to South Africa? Number one, they want to they want to play for Bafana Bafana. Bafana Bafana, as things stand, they've got a good chance with nine uh, nations now in Africa going to to the World Cup, as uh, and uh, without any prelims. If you win the group directly, you go to you go to the World Cup. So Bafana Bafana has got a chance in that group of actually uh going to the world cup so the majority of these players they want to go to the world cup and already with the teams they playing for they are not they are not being called to bafana bafana so if they come back to the league uh Hugo Bruce might actually uh, look at them and actually, and if you play for Sundowns and you do get minutes at Mamelodi Sundowns, you will get a chance. Uh, you will get that nod from the coach to play for Bafana Bafana. And another thing, if you are not playing for, you are not playing in Ligue 1 France, Serie A, Bundesliga, English Premier League, and La Liga, uh, you, are, you are playing for these other smaller nations or smaller leagues in in Europe, you will not be earning that much. Definitely not. So when you come back to a Mamelodi Sundance, you will be paid a decent amount of, 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 of salary. And there's also good bonuses uh, at Mamelodi Sundance since they are an ambitious, ambitious FC. So they are coming back for those reasons. And, and I, Hugo Bruce has made it clear and obvious to everyone that uh, if you go to a league he does not uh, 
uh, rate highly, you will not be selected to be in the Bafana Bafana squad. All the players that are playing in the MLS today, yes, we want our South African players to go play overseas, but if they are not going to the lead to the leagues that are the Bafana Bafana coaches, they don't rate as uh, to a certain standard, so it's almost like impossible for you to play for a Bafana Bafana. Njabulo Blom, he's performing week in, week out in the MLS, but uh, Hugo Bros, they're not giving him a chance. You've got a Bongani Shongwane, who's playing for Minnesota, something. MLS, he's scoring goals, he's assisting, he's not given a chance in Bafana Bafana. You have, um, well, this one is not performing, but he left the country as one of the best strikers. I'm talking about Keshas Mailula. All of the guys in, in MLS, they, they've not been called back. They're not even in the AFCON uh, prelim squad uh, for for Afcon in Ivory Coast. So, those are some of the reasons some of these players will come back. If you're playing in Sweden, you're playing in Denmark, you're playing in Norway, you're playing in Finland, you're playing all these uh, these these unknown, you know, leagues, Russia, Serbia, uh, forget about uh, having a chance. So, these players are coming back because they see a chance that Bafana Bafana might actually be going to the 2026 World Cup and that is around the corner. I don't blame the likes of Cody Sang coming back to South Africa. Even as Sitole was given a call last season by Kaza Chiefs to come back home and um, I don't know what happened there, but uh, there's been interest from South African clubs for players who are playing in Portugal. Portugal is a feeder league for the top five leagues in uh, in Europe. So that's how, that's why some of these players are coming back. So Cody Sang joining Mamelodi Sundowns is a quality, quality acquisition, quality addition. And number 10, someone who can learn from Shishi and actually even take Mshishi's position. Who is he replacing amongst the players who have left the club? Definitely replacing a Mandieta and a... Um, Ekatsin, Ekatsin Serino. He, he does have those qualities of uh, a Serino and, and a Mandieta. So those two players have been, um, have been, have been replaced by this guy, UKB, uh, Kodisang. And, uh, be rest assured, before they, Aust before they leave for Austria, uh, Brian Onyango will be replaced. I, I, I must say something about, um, uh, Brian Onyango. Rushin Durik uh, didn't play RDR, didn't play a lot of games last season. So, I am expecting that I saw him already in the preseason. His back is fit. Is, uh, so, we're just hoping that he will be fit for the whole season. And uh, a fit RDR, uh, I mean, then it means that we've got uh, good uh, backups in that uh, back line. You have Mvala, you have Lebusa. You have uh, Patuali, who might leave Sundowns, we don't know. Uh, Raja Casablanca are interested. Um, and then uh, RDR. RDR might actually feel like a new signing. He might feel like a new signing if he performs and uh, he's given a chance to, to play in that back line. So he will feel like a new signing. And then uh, Bongani Zungu, replacement definitely so the next coming days sundowns will be announcing and they will be signing players to replace the players that have left we do have a lot of players that are out on loan iguadoro a striker is it super sport is he going to come back is he back in the preseason i don't know i saw ricardo goss uh, the goalkeeper is back at clock up is he going to go back on loan again or is he going to fight for his spot I mean, we cannot rely anymore on Dennis Onyango and uh, Mukwe and Mudao. Are they living for, for for the clubs uh, that have been uh, knocking at their doors? Uh, if they do leave, and, and I think there is also negotiations between Nico Mobi and the club, either just to terminate the contract between him and Sundowns or loan him out again so we might be seeing some low knees coming back we might be seeing a termination of some of these players because the sporting director fleming is changing a whole lot of things and uh, if it's to the benefit of the club 
go on guys go on but yeah those are the breaking news coming off coming from my melody sundown welcome kb welcome back home in south africa and welcome back to the biggest club in uh, in the land the most successful club in psl history uh, and uh, obviously you are bringing a different mentality from Europe. Professionalism is probably up there. And if you bring that with you to Mamelodi Sundown, be rest assured that you've been given a chance. And when you are given a chance, you must show those boys. A lot of competition at Mamelodi Sundown. You've got a lot of players who are might be better than you or same quality as you. And you just need to show it, it, it does not just, you can't just rely on talent, but it's also commitment, professionalism, talent. I mean, uh, uh, um, uh, discipline uh, that you need to demonstrate day in and day out. You do have good mentors around you. Steve Compella, you have a mate and you do have former players in and around the club. Your Mambush Mutao, your Shai, a lot of players. So, so you are in a good club. And if you do well, you will be rewarded at this football club. Yes, I am Oscar City Football. And uh, this was just uh, uh, two minutes of, of what... Uh, and if you are seeing this face and this content for the very first time, do hit that like button. It's important that you like all the videos that you watch from this uh, channel. It really helps... Um, uh, the algorithm also that they push it to other people who are following uh, South African football or African football that it reaches their feed. And uh, thank you so much for staying this long and may my God bless you all.